Let's stop pretending that you need a whole Sephora shelf in your shower to have a solid hair care routine. Let's face it, some things just are not that sexy, but they work really well and they get the job done. Welcome back to Tea with MD. I'm Dr. Joyce Park, board certified dermatologist, and we're going to talk about a question I get a lot, which is do we really need more than one shampoo? And the answer is yes. In many cases, rotating your shampoos can make a big difference in scalp health and the appearance of your hair. Because think about it like skincare. You wouldn't use the same product every single day if your skin had different needs, right? So your scalp is skin too, and just like your face, benefits from different active ingredients at different times to target all your different issues. Today, I'm gonna to break down the three main shampoo categories that I personally rotate through and recommend to my patients and why it is actually worth mixing it up based on what your scalp actually needs. Also, side note, I can't cover every single hair type or scalp issue in this one video because just like skincare, hair care is super personal. It really depends on your specific needs, your styling habits, your exercise habits, your environment. And if I don't touch on something that you're dealing with, please drop your comments down below so that I can help answer it in a follow-up video. Okay, the million dollar question, first of all, how often should we really be washing our hair? So it depends, it really does depend. It depends on your scalp type, your hair texture, your lifestyle, etc. If you have oily scalps, you would benefit from more frequent washing every one to two days. If you have really dry scalp or if you have really, really curly hair, every two to four days or as needed, you could stretch that out to once a week. If you frequently exercise or if you live in a very humid climate where you're really sweating a lot, rinse or gently wash more often. And if your scalp feels itchy, flaky, greasy, it's probably time to wash. Your scalp will tell you how often it needs to be washed, believe me, and listening to your scalp is more important than following a rigid schedule. Okay, now let's talk about shampoos. There's clarifying, hydrating, dandruff. Which one do you actually need? It can feel overwhelming. And the truth is there's no perfect one shampoo for everyone. Like I said before, hair care is like skincare and it needs to be personalized to your needs. So you really need to understand your scalp, your hair type, and your lifestyle. And it is actually true that your shampoo matters more than people think because your scalp is skin too and shampoo is your main cleanser for it. We always say that a basic and very good skincare routine includes a cleanser as the first step as your evening routine. And so think of it that way. Your shampoo is just as important as your facial cleanser. So start by asking, is your scalp oily, dry, flaky, irritated, or balanced? Do you use a lot of styling products or dry shampoo in between washes? Your shampoo should address your scalp, not just your hair. It's more of a product for cleansing your scalp. And how do we think about rotating the shampoos? Think of your shampoos as tools in a toolkit. You don't need 10, don't go overboard now, but you might need two or three that you rotate through depending on what your scalp needs that week. I'm gonna go through those three types of shampoos and my top picks for each one. First up, clarifying shampoo. This is best for removing buildup once a week or after heavy styling product use. If your hair starts to feel weighed down, dull, or greasy, no matter how often you wash it, you're probably dealing with product buildup. So you can think of a clarifying shampoo as a stronger cleanser that helps to strip away that residue, giving your scalp a much needed reset. You use this about once a week or after heavy styling, and it's really best for for people with oily scalps, if you're using a ton of dry shampoo in between your washes, or if you use a lot of styling product. So my main tip here is don't overdo it. Clarifying shampoos are powerful and can be drying if you're using them all the time as your regular shampoo. Remember, this is just one shampoo in your toolkit. So one of my picks for a clarifying shampoo is the K18 Peptide Prep Detox Shampoo. This one really delivers that deep clean without stripping your scalp skin barrier, and it does help prep your hair for treatment treatments for heat styling or if you're going in for hair dyeing or for curling or things like that. So it contains activated charcoal, which helps to draw out dirt, oil, and impurities. It also has salicylic acid, which helps to gently exfoliate your scalp, lift off those dead flakes. Salicylic acid is a great ingredient actually for dandruff, so it helps to gently exfoliate the scalp. It also contains the signature K18 peptide, which helps to protect and strengthen your hair even while you're doing this detox treatment. Now, my save pick for a clarifying shampoo is the Dove Scalp and Hair Therapy Clarifying Shampoo. So I like that this is budget-friendly. It does clear your buildup while being 
being gentle enough for regular use. And the ingredients are great. So it contains pyrithione zinc, which is one of my favorites for controlling dandruff. It's an antifungal, it fights the scalp flaking. It also has vitamin B3, which is niacinamide to support your scalp barrier and kind of soothe any irritation in your scalp. It also has vitamin E, an antioxidant that helps to nourish and protect. And it has its own blend of peptides too, which helps to support scalp and follicle health. Okay, now for my save pick in this clarifying shampoo category, it's the L'Oreal Paris Ever Pure Sulfate-Free Clarifying Shampoo. Now, side note, if you've watched this video, you'll know that sulfate-free is usually a marketing term and you don't necessarily need to go with sulfate-free and preserving your color is more about your hair habits rather than a sulfate-free shampoo. So if you haven't seen this video yet and if you're still falling for the myth of sulfate-free marketing, please go watch this video right now. So why I like this shampoo though is not because it's sulfate free specifically, but because it gently removes the buildup from hard water, product residue, and excess oils. And I've used it and I've loved how it leaves my hair feeling really soft and weightless and refreshed. It also contains menthol in it, which is a little bit different from the other shampoos. This provides that immediate cooling sensation to refresh and soothe the scalp. My mom also uses this one and she loves that cooling sensation. This one also contains citric acid to help rebalance the scalp pH and help you remove that buildup like we're talking about, as well as sodium cocoyl isothionate, a gentle surfactant that cleanses without stripping moisture. Try to say that fast three times. Moving on to the next category, hydrating shampoos. Now, this is not just for dry scalps. They're actually a go-to for anyone dealing with damage, color treatments, frizziness, or hair breakage. And these formulas really go one step beyond basic moisture by also strengthening your hair, smoothing those rough cuticles, and helping to reduce inflammation on the scalp because I'm hammering it in in this video that a healthy scalp leads to healthy hair. So you want to use these hydrating shampoos two to three times a week or anytime your hair feels dry, brittle, frizzy, or rough to the touch. And I like putting it in my toolkit in between my clarifying or dandruff shampoos because your hair and scalp really need replenishment. Clarifying or dandruff shampoos can sometimes be stripping and drying. They're quite powerful. And hydrating shampoos will help restore that balance and prevent over drying and irritation of your scalp, especially if you're someone who washes frequently. So my first pick in the splurge category category for this is the Olaplex number no. four bond maintenance shampoo. This one hydrates beautifully and softens without weighing your hair down. Their key ingredient is this long molecule bis-aminopropyl diglycol dimaliate, which is their patented bond repair technology. It also has panthenol, which I've been loving recently for skin barrier repair, so it helps with repair of your scalp skin barrier. Glycerin, which is a great humectant, helping your scalp hold on to moisture. So I also really just truly love the way it smells, and it makes my hair feel less damaged after I use this Olaplex shampoo. My splurge pick is the Purology Hydrate Shampoo. So I know there is a dupe for this that's quite famous through the Kirkland brand at Costco. So I've been using that one as well. But this one deeply hydrates dry color treated hair while helping to restore your vibrancy. It helps to smooth your frizz, soften strands, and improve your manageability of your hair. This one has jojoba oil, which moisturizes and adds that shine without weighing down your hair and making it feel heavy. I also really like that it has green tea extract for some of that antioxidant protection. We know a lot of our hair gets damaged by UV, so we need antioxidant for our hair and scalp, just like our skin. It also has sage extract, which helps to nourish and promote a healthy scalp environment. And it does have this really interesting blend of fragrances, and I'm into fragrances, so this gives you this very luxurious shower feel. Moving on to my pick for the save category, the OGX Renewing plus Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo. I love this product. I've been using it in the shower, and actually my husband's been stealing mine, and he loves it too. It smells so good. Too. This one is a great pick for those of you with dry hair, damaged hair, and I love that the argan oil in it is rich in antioxidants and fatty acids to really smooth and nourish your hair strands. Like my hair feels silky smooth after I use it. It also contains silk proteins to help improve your hair strength and texture. And while we're on this topic of OGX, I just had to throw in an extra one here so you get a little freebie. I also love the OGX Anti-Breakage Keratin Oil Shampoo. This one smells amazing. It also really does help 
help to strengthen your strands to reduce breakage and split ends while adding that shine and softness. Like I can immediately tell a difference in my split ends when I use this product. Damaged, frizzy prone hair in need of strength and shine and you get it for a steal. The key ingredients include keratin proteins which help to reinforce the weak brittle strands to kind of strengthen them, make them stronger. We've already talked about argan oil for nourishing and also reducing that frizz. I am just such a fan of this brand. We're heading into our last category of shampoos, the anti-dandruff scalp treatment shampoo. And this is the one I talk about the most with my patients because dandruff is not just about dry scalp. That's a misconception. It's often due to an overgrowth of malassezia, a yeast that naturally lives on our skin and it loves to feast on oil in the scalps. So that's why moisturizing your scalp is not going to get rid of your dandruff. So you really need to use a medicated dandruff shampoo two to three times a week and this will help get rid of those pesky flakes. So the trick here that I learned when I visited P&G headquarters about a year ago and listened to the actual scientists who formulated their anti-dandruff shampoos. So there's two misconceptions here. One, people think, and I was taught, that you need to let the anti-dandruff shampoo sit on your scalp for three to five minutes to work. That's actually not true. There's this cool technology called coacervate technology that does actually allow the anti-dandruff shampoo to work right away. But, and this leads to tip number two, if you use a non-dandruff fighting conditioner, afterwards, you're just gonna wash it right off. So my tip around that is you use your anti-dandruff shampoo and then when you use your conditioner, just put it on mid-lengths down to your ends so that you're not putting conditioner all over your scalp and washing it all off, which therefore also washes away all your anti-dandruff ingredients. The strategy I like to use when choosing anti-dandruff shampoos is actually to rotate between different active ingredients because each one targets something slightly different like yeast versus inflammation versus excess oil versus exfoliating. So really cycling through those helps to manage the dandruff more effectively without overusing one type of treatment. So for example, one day you could use a product with zinc pyrithione and then a gentle hydrating shampoo. And then the next time you wash, you use a selenium sulfide or ketoconazole formula to reduce that irritation and improve long-term control. So the key is to cycle through different types of anti-dandruff shampoos to get better control of the problem. So my first pick here is the Zinc Pyrithion Formula CeraVe Anti-Dandruff Hydrating Shampoo. And this is very affordable. It's by a very reputable brand that I love and have worked with. So this helps to treat flakes and itching while maintaining your scalp barrier. And this is a great option if you're dealing with dandruff, but also noticing that you have dry, irritated, or itchy scalp. So first off, it has zinc pyrithione 1%, which helps to reduce yeast on the scalp. It also has those classic ceramides, which is like the mortar in between the bricks of your skin cell that help to restore and maintain your skin barrier. It also has hyaluronic acid, which we know is a humectant, helping you hold on to water in the scalp, and niacinamide, which helps in this case to calm inflammation and support your skin barrier function. So that is one pick. My second pick is ketoconazole Nizerol 1% shampoo. It's not sexy, but it works, guys. It's a powerful antifungal treatment that targets the root cause of dandruff. This helps to reduce inflammation, scaling, and flaking, and it is clinically proven to help treat dandruff and even the medical form of dandruff, which we call seborrheic dermatitis. Side note, Nizerol or anti-dandruff shampoos can also help with hair loss that's tied to inflammation and really bad seborrheic dermatitis. So if you haven't seen my videos on hair loss, I'll link to them right here. Okay, pick number three, selenium sulfide head and shoulders clinical strength shampoo. So this is yet another dandruff shampoo. It is strong yet accessible option for persistent scalp issues like flaking, dryness, redness, and it also helps reduce your excessive oil production. This contains selenium sulfide 1%, which is yet another type of antifungal and anti-inflammatory, which helps to reduce those yeast levels and calm that irritation down. So you have all these different pathways to to treat and target inflammation and yeast in the scalp, and they can all in totality be helpful for controlling your dandruff. Whew, that was a lot of information I just threw at you, but here's the bottom line. There's no one size fits all shampoo and your hair and your scalp have different needs depending on your lifestyle, styling habits, and even the season. And that's why rotating shampoos, whether it's clarifying, hydrating, or anti-dandruff is such an effective option. So listen to me when I say you don't need a dozen products, just two or three that work for you and you just cycle through those consistently. And remember, expensive is not always better. Same thing that goes for skincare applies to your hair care. If you have questions about 
your scalp, flakes, frizz, or hair shedding, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to help you figure out the right shampoo strategy for your routine. And if you found this helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more derm-backed hair and skincare tips. We'll be uploading here on Tea with MD every single month. Until next time.